Hello everyone. Perhaps it's the energy across campus combined with what seems one big event after another, but it sure seems that fall quarter moves faster than any other part of the academic year. When you reach a certain age, and I won't mention any names, every year flies by. Today is November 7th, and we are just one month away from the start of finals. For many of you out there, I'm sure that some version of holy cow is popping into your mind. Finals week and the holidays will be here before you know it. I, along with many others, participated in Dia de los Muertos last Thursday. It was the first time that the event was held at Bronco Commons, and the event, venue, and evening couldn't have been better. Congratulations to Lorena Marquez and the Cesar Chavez Center for hosting another successful celebration. We are coming off a big weekend of development-related meetings. On Friday afternoon, we hosted the Comprehensive Campaign Steering Committee for our biannual event. The team, under the leadership of Dr. Andrew Chern, is now heading into the home stretch of the campaign. We are just shy of $100 million and will be looking to raise the final $50 million over the next 20 months. Everyone is extremely optimistic based on the quality and quantity of proposals in place. The following day was our annual summit meeting of the National Development Council. This group consists of 30 plus business leaders, influential alumni, and university friends who come together to address some of our more significant campus initiatives. This year, those discussions surrounded cybersecurity, water, STEM, and Scalinas Field. This dialogue was inspirational as all of these individuals are extremely passionate about the university and our students. This event will advance these initiatives specifically in the area of funding and support. On Friday of this week, the university will be closed in honor of Veterans Day. We have a special event planned to honor those current and former members of the Armed Forces tomorrow at noon. The Veteran Services Initiative invites the campus community to join in celebrating the contributions of our veterans in the university quad. I hope you can join us as we honor the brave men and women who have defended our freedoms and are now focused on completing their education. Tomorrow we will celebrate the contributions and academic pursuits of our staff. The Amelia Hammond Staff Council Scholarship was established in 1978 to assist staff members in career development or personal job improvement education. At 2 p.m. on Tuesday in Ursa Major, we will award four $300 scholarships. Amelia Hammond was a Cal Poly Pomona staff member from 1962 to 1980. At the same time, we will recognize 38 longtime staff members with the honor of emeritus. This recognition was created in 1981 to acknowledge staff employees who have worked at Cal Poly Pomona for at least 10 years and have demonstrated outstanding job performance, support of the university programs, and involvement in campus activities. Karina Huang is a Cal Poly Pomona alumna and the editor of the book Boat People. Tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. in the BSC, Karina will share her personal experience of the Vietnam War and its aftermath, as well as memories from other survivors. The event is sponsored by the Asian and Pacific Islander Student Center, Ethnic and Women's Studies, and the College of Business Administration. For more information, contact Marguerite Endress at the email address on your screen. I hope you were able to join ASI President Jonathan Giannu and me at our fall quarter Pizza with the Presidents event. Hundreds of students were provided with a pizza lunch and answers to dozens of questions. In fact, we probably touched more questions than ever before, with topics ranging from access to classes, on-campus activities, and the repaving of South Campus Drive. We will move inside for the winter quarter edition of Pizza with the Presidents, which is scheduled for Tuesday, February 7th at 6 p.m. That edition is primarily designed for our evening students. Many grants are now available to any faculty or staff member who teaches service learning courses or plans to teach a service learning course. Up to $1,000 may be awarded. The application deadline is Wednesday, November 30th at 5 p.m. For more information, contact Cristina Gonzalez Salgado at 4574. Next week begins a series of special events, music performances, and guest speakers as part of the 6th Annual International Education Week. The International Center, in collaboration with various campus organizations, puts this week-long event together to promote global awareness and diversity. We are a university that truly celebrates our cultural identities 
and International Education Week is a great opportunity to expand our breadth of experience. For more information, visit the website on your screen. I want to congratulate All-American men's soccer athlete Luis Gonzalez, who was named the 2011 California Collegiate Athletic Association Most Valuable Offensive Player of the Year. This marks the first time in CCAA history that a Bronco has attained that accolade. Gonzalez topped the conference this season with 33 points, scoring a league-best 14 goals. Joining Luis on the All-CCAA first team was senior midfielder Juan Mejia. On the women's side, forward Justine Barkley and midfielder Jennifer Rivera were second team All-CCAA picks and freshman Cristina Cariaga was the conference newcomer of the year. Tiffany Dinn placed sixth overall at last week's NCAA West Regionals in Spokane, Washington. She will now be making her second straight trip to the NCAA Division II National Championships, scheduled for November 19th. This is a crazier than normal month for me with a lot of travel as we work to reach our campaign goals. Because of that, I will not be back on your screens until Monday, November 28th. Thank you for all of your efforts on behalf of our students and take good care of yourselves.